There's one frame in front at six frames to five. Well, I fancied Thorgan right from the start of the tournament, but um, with Higgins in uh, the lead at this particular stage, he, he'll take go for anything, you know, he'll, and they're likely to come off. So we come to the all-important frame for Alex Higgins, now requiring one frame for victory, but breaking off is Canadian Cliff Thorburn, who requires two frames to claim the £3,000 first prize. who, in fact, has, in the last 12 months, taken three titles. He's taken the Pontin Open, he's taken a Canadian title, and only a week Eight. ago retained the Irish title. Now out to claim the Benson and Hedges title. And he runs in off. Eight. Four points Alex away. Higgins. Four. It's over. Both players now boxing for position. Both tempting the other to make a mistake. Thorben, I think, looking for a possible plant and amongst that pack of reds. <coughs> Decides against it.
it's almost a Chinese snooker, the cupel coming to rest on the green, but just sufficient room for Thorben to cue at the red over the pocket. hand there as he climbs over the green. Now he's tied the black up with that red. immediately freeing it. In addition to the £8,000 prize money for the championship, which started off with 10 world snooker stars, there is, of course, the pound of point for the highest break of the whole week. And this, at the moment, is a break of 88 by Thorben. In addition to the one pound of point, there is the gold award of a medallion. Added to all that is the gold trophy. Four points away. Four to Florbert. <laughs> All square, but Higgins Forward with eight. a one frame lead. Higgins requiring one frame for victory. This final, the best of 13 frames. Going for this one, I think, into the centre pocket. No, he's taking one into the Eight 
Touching ball. Now right. Higgins is in here with a real chance. Thirty-six. Thirty-seven. Forty-four. Forty-four. Oh. Alex Higgins. There's an extraordinary shot. Forty-four points he breached, and the red Lip stayed on the eight. lip of the pocket Alex there. Higgins, Higgins certainly in with a chance of clearing the table there. Fifty-two points to eight. Thorben's unlucky, he cannot get at the blank. <laughs> Blue and pink, of course, are useless to him. I think Cliff's playing the blue in an attempt to put the cue ball behind the yellow. He's left another chance here for Alex. Not an easy shot, but the type that Alex Higgins likes. He just can't make up his mind which one to play. And 
and they all remain on the table. Seth Orban started this break. There were 75 points on the table. That was the last six reds, six blacks, and the colours. So his 88 break that he's already made must be the highest break of the championship. Button, followed by the pink. One. Terrific amount of right hand side bringing the cue ball back up the table. Seven. Perhaps rushing at it a little too fast. <coughs> so anxious to claim the title. Now leading 67 points to 14, a difference of some 53 points. With just two reds left, 43 points on the table. Three snookers, the two reds, two blacks, and all the colours to win by two points. Again, out of position there. <coughs> so just going to touch the blue to leave the cue ball down One. on the Lift cushion. Over. A swerve around the green onto the top cushion and onto the red. Oh no, he's taking it full. Cliff attempting to screw the cue ball back onto the cushion and then back in between the pink and black, but not sufficiently strong enough.
been so near to international titles and yet not quite made it. Runner-up in the 1977 World Championship to current world champion John Spencer after a terrific battle. Earlier this year in Australia, he was runner-up again to Eddie Charlton, the Australian champion, in a championship over in that country. Now he finds himself in that same situation for a third time. Alex attempting to force that glass red down the pocket, but it refuses to go at the moment and finishes up almost no. as a snooker. <coughs> Masse swerve shot around the brown. Oh, he touched the brown as four points away. Alex Higgins. Thorburn attempts the snooker too hard. snooker is just not coming off for the Canadian. And Higgins finally slams that last what? shred away. Canadian Cliff Thorburn, who 
gives in and congratulates the Irishman who won the world title way back in 1972, has taken three titles in the past year and now claims the Benson Hedges title for his own and takes victory at seven frames 2-5 over the Canadian Cliff Thorburn. And so it is to the presentation. The first the Benson and Hedges Masters Champion, Alex Higgins. And so it is the presentations, the £3,000, the garland and the gold trophy goes to Alex Higgins from Christopher Morgan, Sales and Marketing Director of Gallagher's, assisted by Len Owen, Gallagher's Director.